So let's look at our practical module activity and we are dealing with number two where we are looking at the document info recycling. Okay, let's see some of the instructions here. Now the first thing they want us to do is to modify the heading one style. So I'm in my home tab. Um, I'm going to go up to my heading one style. Let's have a look for that. There's heading one. They want me to modify it. And what do they want me to do? So that a page break will be inserted before each heading. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go to the format button at the bottom here. I'm going to go up to paragraph. So I'm going to open another dialog box. I'm going to go to line and page breaks. And then I'm going to tick page break before. All right, and then click OK. We find that's that sorted. Now they want us to see that the words paper, plastic and glass on page three have already been hyperlinked. And we can see that when I press control on my keyboard, you can see how my mouse pointer changes. Um, they've already been hyperlinked to the corresponding paragraph headings. Now hyperlink the yellow highlighted words or word cans to the corresponding paragraph heading. Okay, so I want to take that and I'm going to go to insert going to go hyperlink. I want to place my link in this document and I want to link it to that particular heading. They said the corresponding heading. Um, are they asking for a screen tip? Um, no. So I can just click OK and there that's done. Right. So the next one asks me now to insert a hyperlink to the word or on the word glass and they want me to link it to a specific sentence. Now, when I look over here, when I click in place my, um, in this document, I don't see anything like that. So what I'm going to have to do is the following because I'll have to put it under bookmarks. So I'm going to cancel. I'm going to scroll down to what they want me to do or where they want me to link to, which is this green highlighted text. I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to insert that as a bookmark and I'm going to say um, glass sorted let's just see glass sorted i'm just going to say add and now we're going to go all the way to the top again i'm going to highlight glass hyperlink placing this document and have a look under bookmarks i've got glasses sorted and they just wanted me to pop in a screen tip that says how glass is recycled I'm gonna click OK OK again and now when I click on that it should take me all the way to that specific line of text let's look at the next one the next one says locate the blue highlighted arrows so let's have a look blue highlighted arrows um, in the introduction on page three that is correct replace the arrows with a cross reference to figure two so we're going to highlight that we're going to go cross the reference and what do we want to reference it to to a figure and there you can see it gives us the list of figures within our document and we want to link it to figure number two Two. Let's see if there's anything else. Insert only the caption text. So only caption text. And we click insert. And there we go. Right. So now we have our cross reference. And you can see when I press control, it'll take me all the way there. Okay. Um, last one, locate the green highlighted arrows. I think it's sort somewhere at the beginning. Oh, here we go. The green highlighted arrows. I'm going to highlight that. And they're saying to me, um, replace the arrows with a cross reference to figure one. Now we've just done the other one, so we know it's cross reference, figure, figure one. And they're saying we need to select insert the entire caption. Entire caption, insert, close, and we are done practical module activity for module 3.2 done.